overview. In this lesson, you will learn about important parts of speech called verbs and auxiliaries and how to use them correctly. Look around you. Do you see things happening? Think of what you are doing now. Are you sitting? Standing? You are also doing something. When you observe your surroundings and people carefully, you will find that all around you there is something going on. In other words, there is a lot of action. Verb is a word of action which tells us what is happening or what something or someone is doing. For example, the boy hugs the dog. What action does the boy do? He hugs the dog. The word hugs is what the boy does. Therefore, it is the verb in the sentence. Let's look at this sentence. The girl plays in the park. What is the verb in this sentence? How do you think you will find the answer to that question? Yes, you would ask yourself, what is the girl doing? Think of what you have already learnt about verbs. Take a few minutes to discuss the answer with a partner. The answer is plays. What are the verbs in these sentences? Let's begin with the first sentence. Mahatma Gandhi fought for India's freedom. What did Mahatma Gandhi do? He fought for India's freedom. If you said fought, you are absolutely correct. Let's look at the next sentences. The verb in the second sentence is composed. The verb in the third sentence is plays. The verb in the fourth sentence is loved. The verb in the last sentence is flows. Now look in your booklet. There is an exercise that asks you to choose the appropriate verbs from the ones given in the box. Take a few minutes to write down the answers. Let us check your work together. She cooked dinner. She visits London every year. We watch the news on television every night. Rohit went to school. My grandmother walks very slowly. Use of verbs Now that you know a verb is a word of action, we will see how we can use them when we speak. Look at the following sentence. I love sweets. What do I do? I love sweets. The word love indicates what I do. I eat sweets every day after dinner. In this sentence too, I do something to sweets. What do I do? I eat sweets. 
Read the other examples in your booklet. Do you understand the verbs that are underlined? Can you identify the verbs in these sentences? My teacher scolded me yesterday. Most children study well before their exams. The dog chewed my paper. Mother made delicious food. The raindrops fell on my head. Note the verbs carefully. Scolded Study Chewed Made Fell We have already learnt that verbs indicate some sort of action. However, there are some special verbs that do not show any action. Although these words don't show any action, they act like verbs in sentences because they either support a verb or act as a verb by themselves. This is a difficult concept to understand. However, all you need to know is the list of these special verbs and know that they either support or help a verb or act as verbs by themselves. These verbs are called auxiliaries or auxiliary verbs. Am Is Are was, were, has, have, do, does, did, had. Let's use these words in sentences to see how they support verbs or stand by themselves. I am feeling sick today. In this sentence, the auxiliary am is helping the verb feeling. I am 20 years old. In this sentence, the auxiliary am does not help another verb. Instead, it acts as a verb and stands by itself. She is coming by herself. In this sentence, the auxiliary is helps the verb coming. She is a singer. The auxiliary is does not help another verb. Instead, it acts as a verb and stands by itself. You are working very hard. In this sentence, the auxiliary are is helping the verb working. The children are in the playground. In this sentence, the auxiliary are does not help another verb. Instead, it acts as a verb and stands by itself. I was going to the store when it began to rain. In this sentence, the auxiliary was is helping the verb going. I was not happy with my results. In this sentence, the auxiliary was does not help another verb. Instead, it acts as a verb and stands by itself. From this sentence onwards, you will work with a partner to identify whether the auxiliaries in each sentence help a verb or act as a verb by itself. The train has just arrived.
The baby has fever. We have to go to the office at 8 o'clock in the morning. The boys have a cricket match tomorrow. The officers do their work well. The children do their homework regularly. My supervisor does not get angry easily. Ravi always does his work on time. My father did not go to the office yesterday. Sita did her work before the others. Mona had reached office by the time they announced the holiday. He had a bad headache this morning. So let us see what we have understood about an auxiliary. An auxiliary is a word that helps a verb. We must understand that one auxiliary can support only one verb. Remember, the 11 words we just learned about are used either as auxiliaries or as verbs. In other words, they can either be used as words that help verbs or as verbs by themselves. Let's talk about the verb be. The verbs am, is, are, were and was are variations or forms of the verb be. We need to pick the one based on the subject of the sentence. Take a look at this chart. When the subject is I, we use the form as. When the subject is you, we use the form are. When the subject is he or she, we use the form is. And when the subject is they, we use the form are. For example, I am hungry. You are hungry. He or she is hungry. They are hungry. Can you think of a few more sentences with the words am, are and is? Use of auxiliaries. We have learned that a verb is a word of action but may sometimes need the help of another word called auxiliary. Based on what you know about the auxiliary thus far, can you guess the meaning of the word auxiliary? The word auxiliary means helping. Isn't it a good word to use for a word that helps other words? Now let us practice the use of the following auxiliaries. 
the various forms of be which are am, is, are, was, were. Do, does, did, have, has, had. Look at these sentences and try to understand how the 11 auxiliaries that are used as verbs can be applied in sentences. The little girl was happily watching the birds. What verb is being helped by the auxiliary was? I am sick. Please note here the auxiliary am stands by itself. It is not helping any verb. India is fighting terrorism. My parents are angry with me. They were in Delhi last month. Now you will practice adding appropriate auxiliaries in sentences. Let us see the answers to these sentences. We are going to the meeting. They are very busy. I am not joining the BPO. He is very efficient. There are 20 other auxiliaries which cannot be used by themselves. Rather, they can be used only to help a verb. These auxiliaries are can, may, will, shall, should, might, could, would, must, never, dare, need, keep, kept, used, to, ought, to, going, to, be, been, being. Here are some sentences with a few of these auxiliaries. Note, the yellow words are verbs that are being helped by the auxiliaries. Janaki's mother need not come with us to the station. The train might be late and it could take us a long time to return home. We will phone to let her know what time we shall return. She must not tire herself. With some practice reading, you will be able to remember these auxiliaries and use them in a proper manner. Let us recap what we have learned today. In this lesson, you have learned that verbs are action words, auxiliaries are words that support or help verbs. Some auxiliaries can be used independently as verbs. You may now use this time to read the reference reading material that goes with this lesson. Thank you.